Hello everybody out there, Root Beer here with more of the Grade 8 Gauss from the year 2002. We're uh, moving right along, we're on question number 7. Hopefully you've had a chance to take a look at this. Of course, as always, you can click the link in the provided in the description. It'll take you to all of Waterloo's previous contests. And you can find uh, this particular paper under the Gauss heading, just click on 2002. Okay, so we're going to take a look at question number 7. What does it have to say? The volume of a rectangular box is 144 centimeters cubed. If its length is 12 centimeters and its width is 6 centimeters, what is its height? Okay, so let's draw ourselves a little picture. The key to this question is knowing how volume relates to length, width, and height. All right, so I have a box here, and I can label things like length, width, and here we have height. Okay? Well, volume is equal to length times width times height. If you didn't know that, this question would be quite difficult to do. Now, we're told what the volume is. 144 centimeters cubed, and we are told the length is 12 centimeters and the width is 6 centimeters, so we can just go ahead and plug those into this equation. 12 centimeters, 6 centimeters, and I don't know what the height is. I'm going to say it's h centimeters, and I'm going to solve for h. Well, I can rearrange this and divide both sides by 12 centimeters and 6 centimeters. But when I do that, well, 12 and 144, that leaves me with 12. I can grab my calculator and verify this. 144 divided by 12, that leaves me with a 12. And then 6 and 12, well, 12 divided by 6 leaves 2. So that leaves me with 2 centimeters. So my height is 2 centimeters, and let's see, was that one of the possible answers? Yes, it was. It's E at the very end there. So we're going to say our answer is E. And we're going to flip the page in anticipation of our next question. And that will be question number 8 on the grade 8 Gauss paper. I'll see you guys then.